Hey, Mark, good morning. Well, hundreds of horse riders are traveling up this morning to show support for law enforcement officers. I think you're familiar with this club, Mr. Alford. We'll have more coming up. Here's of horse riders, my friends, are traveling out this morning to show support for law enforcement. Yeah, the Jackson County Sheriff's uh, Mounted Posse is leading the spectacle from Hale Arena to Liberty Memorial. Fox North Rob Collins joins us live from Hale Arena, where preparations are underway. Good morning, Rob. Hey, Kim, good morning. Underway indeed, as you can see, a lot of the horse trailers pulling in this morning. Gates opened a short time ago as folks are getting in here, getting saddled up to make this a uh, very important ride for law enforcement officers. Let's talk to Captain Ed Adams here about this ride and how you guys put this together so quickly. A lot of folks are, are ponying up to come help you guys out. Well, I think we did. Uh, just two weeks ago, we gave a shout out to all the cowboys and cowgirls and uh, to support the law enforcement. And you know that we had a couple officers down a couple of months ago and we wanted to get all our Western riders out here and say, hey, we need to show our support. Sponsors came over and uh, they're supporting all of everything for the officers and it's all being brought to you by the Jackson County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. And it's been an unbelievable turnout that we've had over 175 horses coming out today. Well, and tell us about the route in case folks are maybe traveling or folks want to see it. We're starting off at uh, Kemper and Hale Arena and we're going to be traveling 2.3 miles all the way to Liberty Memorial. And we'll be going all the way around on the south side and, uh, and making our way through the highways of Chavez and then over there to 25th Street and then around over to the north side of Liberty Memorial. Once we are, we're going to stop there on the north side and then we're going to uh, basically make a presentation and then head on back. All right. If folks who can't ride today but still want to help out, how can they do so? You know what? Giving your support, uh, make it out to the Jackson County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. And we have established a Posse 100. All the funds go to our first responders and law enforcement and the families who've lost their, their family members to on the line of duty. All right, sir. Thank you very much, and thanks for all that you all do. Appreciate it. Thank you again. All right, you bet we're going to stay out here until they leave. So uh, join us next time. We'll have more on them saddling up to ride. Guys, Nick has volunteered to follow with a shovel, so he'll be <laughs> out there soon. Rob, thank you so much. <laughs> He's used Hey guys, good morning. Well, the horses are about to giddy up. A lot of folks are saddling up this morning to ride to show support for law enforcement officers. Leaving from Hale Arena to Liberty Memorial. We'll tell you more on the procession and who's taking part coming up right here on Fox 4. Cowboys are rounding up for a morning ride across the city for a good cause. Yeah, this is all to show their support for local law enforcement officers. Fox 4's Rob Collins is loud at Hale Arena with all the details. Good morning, Rob. <laughs> Hey, Kim, good morning. Not only cowboys, but cowgirls are saddling up this morning to show support for law enforcement officers. Hi, good morning, sweetheart. Let's move on over here to talk to Kelly Sitter McComb. Now, Kelly, you're a part of this ride. Tell us why you want to be involved. Well, sir, about, we organized this in a little under three weeks. On Facebook, I saw a post about some cowboys down in Texas. And they organized a ride where 150 riders showed up. They rode nine miles just to help support their law enforcement officers, and I thought... I bet I know 100 head of horseback riders, and Kansas City could do something like this. And you guys came out in a big fashion in less than two weeks. You got about 200 folks out here already. Yes, sir. We went public last Saturday on Facebook. Our Facebook page is Kansas City Cowboys for Cops. And it just is just amazing the support that we've gotten. And uh, your club, the uh, Sit Downers Club, tell us what y'all do. Uh, my family owns and operates Sitter Downs Horse Sporting in Lone Jack, Missouri. We've been there for 28 years. Mm -hmm. And we have trail horses and trail riding. Just tell me about the support. How nice is it to see all these folks out this morning to take part to show their support for law enforcement officers? It was really tricky for all these people to come on such short notice. And it, means, uh, it means so much to us that they came. And it's just amazing. I can't believe it. The horses are giving their support, too. <laughs> Who are you atop here? This is Ransom. He's a little horse I've had for a couple months, and he's going to have his parade debut today. All right, Ransom, well, thank you. We appreciate you being on this morning, okay? Kelly, thank you very much for uh, hustling over. She a tad out of breath. She ran in that corner like she had business to take care of, so thanks for getting over here. We certainly do appreciate that. They're leaving in about an hour from now, leaving here at Hale Arena, going to Liberty Memorial with the police procession. They're going to have a presentation for the law enforcement officers at the Liberty Memorial, and then they're going to make their way back here to finish a little bit later this afternoon. 
Ransom's fired up. He's ready to go. I'm told the Melton family and the Lancaster family are also going to be part of the procession. So uh, we should have some uh, pretty good visuals coming up for you in the next hour and later on Fox 4. Guys, what a great idea. It just kind of came out of nowhere. Thank you, Rob. Rob? Yeah. Hey, guys, the procession to honor law enforcement officers is underway here from Hale Arena. Over 200 riders on horseback led by police escort are making their way to the Liberty Memorial. They just left us. We're going to try to catch up with them when we come back. Stay with us. Hey, Basso's present. Count of four. <laughs> Let's get you out to uh, Rob Collins, because I understand the horses are uh, running away from our team right now. Rob, tell us what's happening. Hey, Nick, good morning. Yeah, the procession is taking place uh, right behind us, going down Wyoming, and they're going to snake around the corner here to Genesee, and then all these folks are working their way to the Liberty Memorial. This is part of a big show of support for law, enforce law enforcement officers, hundreds of riders out here. Riders with the Kansas City Mounted Patrol and the Jackson County Sheriff's Mounted Posse. They have a rolling police escort. These guys, are, you can see the police escort and the folks down in Genesee right there. They're, again, going all the way to the Liberty Memorial where they will have a presentation and a ceremony to honor the fallen officers this morning. The families of Officer Melton and Officer Lancaster are in that trolley you see right there. The KC Cowboys for Cops Club running that trolley there, shoveling the family down to the Liberty Memorial, where again, they will have a moment of silence and they will honor all those fallen. just want to read you a quote from one of the writers that says, there is no way we can ever repay the first responders who defend our personal safety on a daily basis, but as a posse member, we can help their families by offering financial assistance to offer immediate relief with financial burdens as they may be experiencing. That's from Mr. Ed Adams, whom we talked to a little bit earlier again. And they just put this out on Facebook two weeks ago, and they garnered over 200 riders. So a big show of support this morning for these folks. Again, the 2.3 mile trek, probably going to get there, I would guess, in about 30 to 45 minutes, have a little ceremony, and then they will make their way back here to Hale Arena. So obviously, traffic is stopped right here in front of us. Again, they have rolling police escorts, so there's going to be rolling closures on the route this morning. Again, you're watching uh, Genesee. You're watching the horses go down Genesee right now. And again, they're going to snake their way around and then up to the Liberty Memorial. But a uh, big show of support here on horseback. And also some folks are driving some SUVs and some other gator-type equipment with their flags. And a lot of folks out here are real proud this morning to be part of it. So. Uh, Pretty good visual coming your way up Signal Hill here in about 15 or 20 minutes, guys. And that's awesome, Rob. What a, what a great uh, show of support. And I guess uh, if you live in the Midtown area, maybe in 20 or 30 minutes, you can go down there and show your support as well, right? Yeah, most definitely. We've already seen folks uh, standing outside of their homes, outside of their apartments. People stopped on the street. They're out taking pictures and, of course, waving to all the folks who are on horseback this morning showing their support for law enforcement officers.